Gonna check your sun sign and your ascendant sign, where you'll be on your astrological chart. All information looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you for supporting Psychic Sid, all the voodoo products and services I provide. In the description box down below next to the butterfly. First portion of this reading will be for those of you that have husbands, boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, and fiancés. And the second portion of the reading will be for those of you that are single, okay? So let's get right into it. Let's smudge. All right. You can find the Hakati's torch in my Etsy shop in the description box down below. All right. This is for Leo's and relationships. Okay. How do you feel about your significant other, Leo? How does Leo feel about your significant other? All right. Okay. So you feel like your significant other is the five of pentacles, Taurus and Mercury, and the devil, Capricorn. You feel like they don't appreciate you they don't love you you feel like they ghosted you you feel like they don't care about you they don't value you uh you feel like your significant other is you feel like your significant other doesn't value you but you're too scared to go find other love okay like you're too scared to find new love because you feel like you're not going to find anyone better because you don't love yourself with the five of pentacles here okay um you feel like your significant other you may also feel this about your significant other like your significant other is someone you may not value or they could even be i just heard homeless they could be without work okay they could have like no work or they could uh be jobless unemployed they could have an addiction there's something extremely toxic with the devil um some of you feel like your significant other is tied to you indefinitely because they don't love themselves a lot of you feel like your significant other is tied to you indefinitely because they feel like they will not find anyone better so they they just stay you feel like your significant other does not value themselves does not love themselves or does not value you does not love you with the five of pentacles and the devil okay you feel like your significant other is toxic um you feel like they're codependent with the devil you feel like they have an addiction you may even feel like they uh, may be very jealous or that it's not healthy it's not it's not healthy or your significant other is not healthy there's something wrong with them you feel um there's something extremely toxic about them how does your significant other feel about you or you can even feel like it's only about money for them like in the relationship how does your significant other feel about you leo you have the sun in reverse. They feel like uh, there's been... Your significant other feels like you are depressed or that there's been so... That you may even want a divorce or that... Um, some of you, your significant other feels like you view life when there's so many setbacks. It's hard to be positive about what's moving forward or what's coming to you in the future. How does your significant other view you? Or how does your significant other feel about you? How does your significant other feel about you? They feel like you play too many video games, that you work the night shift. Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus. They feel like you give them absolutely like less than crumbs. They feel like you won't give child support. You won't you won't contribute. They feel like you just won't contribute. They feel like with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um this can be gifts like they feel like you give gifts to them but there's strings attached to them to those gifts like you have an expectation for why you're giving those gifts it's not genuine they also feel like um you kiss their ass or that you um you breadcrumb or you may even steal that's how some people feel they feel like with the six of pentacles it is not balanced um you also the king of cups is in reverse your significant other feels like you cheat on them. Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or that you're promiscuous, uh, that you're more worried about what makes you happy, that you have an addiction of some kind, or that you could even be um, a rapist. The King of Cups in reverse is a rapist. So your significant other could feel that about you, okay? You could be a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. They may feel like you are inappropriate sexually with the King of Cups in reverse. Like there's something not emotionally stable about you. They think that you have emotional illness. All right, how do you view your significant other, Leo? You view them as a will of fortune in reverse. How do you view your significant other, Leo? Seven of Swords in reverse. 
Eight of Swords, Gemini and Jupiter. You feel like um, you view your significant other as a gold digger, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They could be a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a Taurus Virgo. You view them as someone who cannot have children or that they're not a very good mother or that they're only with you to social climb. They're only with you to boost their own um, like status, essentially. You feel like your significant other is in jail, the Eight of Swords, or in victim mentality, or that they want to look at all the positives of the relationship when it's very clear um, that there's a lot of lying, cheating, and stealing going on and it's a short-term relationship. So you view your significant other as coming clean, maybe even, um, or getting caught if they've been cheating or lying or whatever they've been doing to you. With the Wheel of Fortune reverse, you view your significant other as somebody who things are not moving at all. It's just, it's not moving at all. You view them as someone who's overweight. With the Queen of Pentacles reverse, they don't take good care of themselves. They have poor management with life, um, with work, with their money. You view them as someone who's very unstable, not very grounded. You also view them as someone as the Page of Swords, someone who looks through all your stuff. They spy through all your stuff, all your technology. Anything you got in the house or anything are like involving you, okay? They are searching through. That's how... Um, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. But that's how you view your significant other. You view them as someone who maybe they eat too much or they like, they don't take good care of themselves. You may not even, like, you don't view your significant other as attractive with the, um, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. But the Seven of Swords, though, I mean, and the, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that could very well, you know, um, be your significant other as well, okay? You view your significant other as someone who is um, a gold digger, okay? You view them as someone who's only with you in the relationship for money or that they're not financially stable, not financially grounded. They have no morals or conscience um, and they only care about their status. You may even view your significant other as racist with the queen of pentacles in reverse um your significant other is also because the queen of pentacles in reverse is a racist um you also view your significant other as not nurturing the relationship and the commitment connection or cheating on you you view your significant other as cheating on you with the queen of pentacles in reverse and that um this is like your you view your significant other as receiving a lot of bad karma all right, and that they're in victim mentality when they know that they did something wrong, that they lied to you, they cheated on you, or they stole from you. Okay, what are you hiding from your significant other, Leo? What are you hiding from your significant other, Leo? What are you hiding from your significant other, Leo? Page of Pentacles in reverse. You're hiding that you're living beyond your means, champagne lifestyle, lemonade budget, and you're also hiding with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You're not saving. Um, that you're jealous. Uh, ooh, you're hiding that you're not faithful with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. So you could be, um, yeah, you have other people. Five of Wands, it's a secret. Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. Um, this could even be happening on social media. But with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which you are hiding from your significant other, is that you are only in a relationship for money. Okay? Um... What you're hiding from your significant other is that you're not nurturing the relationship with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and that you're not faithful, you're not financially stable or balanced. You cannot have children. Your significant other may not know this, but because you're hiding it from them that you really can't have children with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, you're not healthy. You could be overweight. Okay, or there's something I I just heard uh, ovaries could be something with your ovaries or something like that, but you're not you're not fertile and you've been hiding that from them or something like that. Now it could, it's something that like you're hiding from them regarding your health that you can't have children, um, that you're not nurturing this relationship at all, not really. You only want the money of it, and you want the status that comes with being with the person that you're in a relationship with. You, you like the fact that you receive some type of status because you're associated with them. That's why you're in the relationship. Um, you could, the Queen of Pentacles, you could literally work, I just heard the military, you could work in the military. Um, Queen of Pentacles can work in the military. Philosophy, psychology, spirituality, 
um, could work with money. She works with money. This could be an accountant. Could work with finances, taxes, loans, assets. Other other people's money. Um, could even work with um, health. Could be a doctor. I just heard a lawyer. Um, some of you guys are getting a lawyer. Um, could be a doctor, a teacher, a counselor, or someone who works with the psyche. All right. Which are also, um, let's look. What is your significant other hiding from you? What is your significant other hiding from you? Seven of Cups, Venus and Scorpio. Who just had this yesterday? I think it was Gemini. What your significant other is hiding from you is that they have a um, online profile. Like they have a dating profile. There we go. They have a dating profile that you don't know about. Yeah, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn and Jupiter. And they have no money for the non-essentials. Like they don't have any money. Uh, they could be getting of it, getting rid of another job if they have multiple jobs. With the Seven of Cups, they're fantasizing and daydreaming about people online. Okay, they could be watching a lot, a lot of porn, um, or they are literally daydreaming and fantasizing about. So why did I say it like that? Fantasizing, fantasizing about someone that they view online. Okay, um, they have a lot of options, and they do have a dating app. Okay, that you don't know about. They have a lot of romantic options that fulfill them sexually. The Six of Pentacles almost came out in reverse again, Moon and Taurus. Um, for a lot of you, what your significant other is hiding from you is that they cannot have children. Um, that if you tried to leave, right, Empress in reverse, they would use the children against you. Like, oh, you can't see the children because you're trying to date now. That's the type of person you would be dealing with. Um, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and what your significant other is hiding from you is they wouldn't give you child support either, or they are breadcrumbing you. They they could be stealing from you, or they give you gifts, but there are strings attached to it. They could be literally giving you the absolute bare minimum. They're not even giving you crumbs, less than crumbs, like a morsel. You're receiving morsels from this person. Uh, blockages in your relationship. Let's look. Wow. Interesting. Okay, Leo. Blockages in your relationship, please. For Leo's in relationships, please. You have two phones. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up. Someone literally, they chat and talk with others on a different phone. This person has two phones. They have a dating app or they have at least seven other people that they are interested in sexually. Okay, on the side that they kept. They kept their romantic options. They kept a dating app. This person has two phones. This person has two phones. Blockages in the relationship, begging them or you to stay. Okay, so they feel like you're just gonna beg for them to stay, regardless of how they treat you and them cheating. Whatever. Look how he's trying to leave, and she's like holding on to. Like, do not. If you have to beg for someone to stay, baby, let them leave. They don't need to be there in the first place. Get better. Find better than that. Fuck all that. And saw you and them in a recent photo with someone else. All right. So that's what your um, blockages are. And new affair was a, is hidden. That's what you don't see. Someone is having an affair, unfortunately. Okay, let's look at um, other blockages. Yeah, there's other lovers. Could be another Gemini. Or they are a Gemini or something like that. Blockages. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Super Gemini. That they're lying. The blockage is that someone is a pathological liar in this situation. Uh, all they do is lie or they stalk. Like they watch your social media. They look through all your stuff. Or someone's looking through all, all, all of their significant other stuff. Um spying, using other profiles to watch them. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. A blockage is you're only in the relationship for money. There's huge financial loss because it's based off of money. Um, there could be a family that's a negative influence as well. The blockage is King of Wands. And you have Empress. What's the blockage? There's no sex. There's no sex. Knight of Swords, someone's lying to you. And then the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse again. What is going on, child? What is going on? A lot of you are not listening to your intuition at all. Take that as confirmation. My rose course just flew. You're not listening to your intuition, Leo. 
please child listen to the intuition okay the blockage is that somebody capricorn sagittarius towards virgo and the knight of swords in reverse towards gemini aquarius libra um this is someone who believes they know it all with the knight of swords right and they um lie pathologically this is a pathological liar could do illegal activity and make money could be hacking could be using other profiles to watch you king of queen of pentacles reverse you're only in it for the money or you're in it for what you gain from the status of being connected with this person or you're cheating on them and that's why there's no sex pisces energy there's no sex there's erectile dysfunction this is a third party situation because there's an empress here so taurus libra and cancer leo aries sagittarius scorpio Ephesus. the empress is someone who works from home they own their own business they are drop dead gorgeous and they're emotionally financially spiritually sexually abundant so the blockage is that this person may i feel like this is not somebody who's in the who's in the relationship for a lot of you which is interesting it feels like it, it's not this is a third party situation i and then the king of wands somebody who's in the relationship cancel leo aries sagittarius scorpio features but there's been so much lying there's been so much lying and not listening to one's um intuition here the empress would not be in a third party situation and she values herself too much to be with someone who would cheat on her or have two phones or have an affair or whatever. So this is not someone who's in the relationship. This is someone who could be married. The King of Wands are in a relationship. They're a dancer, actor, rapper, singer. They could be in the spotlight. They could work with the human body. Philosophy, psychology, spirituality, the mind, athletes, children. They could be a writer. They could work um, with prisons, institutions, and asylums even. Or they could even work with the psyche, the mind. Um, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. The blockage is that there's no sex. There's no sex. Um, there's erectile dysfunction. There's no intimacy here at all. The sex is really bad if there is any sex. Um, also, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is sick. Okay, so you're sick in the relationship. Somebody, the feminine energy is sick in the relationship, and that's a blockage. Okay, in your relationship. Um, you're not healthy. What is your next actions? Dropping all this Sagittarius inside the Ten of Wands in reverse. Uh, dropping all this baggage. Um, three of Pentacles. Some of you guys will be combining finances together, Capricorn and Mars. Um, and what are your next actions? Ace of Pentacles, uh, losing a lot of money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, missing out on opportunities. And some of you will have very big commitment issues. You'll be very optimistic about this relationship. And it will still end with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Many of you, your next actions is to continue to cheat on somebody that with the Ten of Cups in reverse, Pisces and Mars. Um, you guys are pretending to people you're happy. Your friends, family, everybody, but you're not happy at all. Um, it's a lie with the ten of cups in reverse a lot of you are just arguing with this person there is child abuse or child neglect the children are being neglected because you're dealing with somebody who doesn't love you okay and so it transmutes into the relationship that you have with your child it's the example you're setting what's your significant other's next actions trying to look at all the positives eight of swords seven of swords in reverse having an emotional outburst chariot in reverse cancer Aries, Scorpio, in line with the Ace of Swords in reverse, Aquarius, Super Gemini, maybe not even just speaking at all. Eight of Swords, Gemini, and Jupiter. Someone could be going to jail or getting arrested. Seven of Swords in reverse, Moon, and Aquarius. They could be confessing and getting arrested. Not confessing if they lied or stole or cheated or did something to someone. Uh, your significant other will also be um, potentially telling you, yeah, I cheated on you, I lied or I stole from you. Um, or they get caught. Your next action is like, your significant other's next action, they could get caught. Or catch you lying, cheating, stealing. With the Eight of Swords, they're going to look at all the positives of the relationship and act like they're stuck when they're not stuck in the relationship. They just don't love themselves enough to leave it. Um, and with the Chariot in Reverse, they don't have any emotional maturity or discipline. They're willing to get whatever they want, even if they if, even if they have to run other people over. Significant other will also uh, have car problems. Okay, they could blow up on you or something. The future of Leo's relationship future there's a, a separation there's so much fighting future of yeah six of cups in reverse sun and scorpio someone's gonna be uh there's child abuse going on 
it could be sexual for some of you but there's child abuse going on uh the future of your relationship is like with the six of cups in reverse there's a lot of bad memories together someone could be taking the someone is gonna lose custody of their children queen of pentacles in reverse what is the look you're dealing with a capricorn a sagittarius or a taurus or a virgo in their sun sign or in their rising sun sign you know their ascendant sign but they got leo in their saturn they got leo in the um mercury venus um jupiter neptune okay yeah um the future of your relationship is cheating queen of pentacles over someone's just not going to nurture this they're going to cheat or decide they want to be single or um, stay in it because of the money or because they like the fact that they have some type of status being connected to whoever they're in a relationship with. Um, but there's a lot of cheating going on here. <clears throat> Advice for Leo, please. World, close it out. Close out the cycle. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn. Love yourself. That's Six of Cups when it comes out. You could be dealing with a karmic like partner. It's not somebody you're actually supposed to be with. There's so many bad memories together. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn, and Mars. Learn from this. Um, and Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Think of your child. Use your intuition. Um, yeah, and Nine of Cups. What is it that you really want? Think of what you want because there is infidelity and it's a secret. It's an Aries, Scorpio, it's a Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, Seven of Swords, it's a Reverse Moon, and Aquarius, or a Capricorn. The devil is looking right at me. Look, you either gonna, I don't know what you want to do with the situation, but it looked like uh, somebody could work the night shift as well. You're finding out about this right now. Someone's going to get kicked out. The future of relationship is, or the advice is, some of you are going to kick somebody out or you're going to break up. Because there's a lot of infidelity and it's toxic. It's codependent, there's addiction, there's, um, you need to do what's best for you and your child. Okay? Close out this cycle. It's a 30 year cycle ending as well. Some of you need to travel. Think of yourself as bigger than just a person. Think of yourself as the world. Would you allow somebody to treat the world like this? Whether you're a man or a woman, okay? advice is a merry motive 20 what's the motive of this whole thing right um who we that devil is oof. it's just looking at me and the queen of pentacles how does she keep coming out in reverse this don't make no damn sense um i don't know how that there is some type of uh infidelity going on behind your back that you don't even know about it's toxic oh this is this is codependent with the devil here. It's it's unhealthy. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, this could be somebody who's very like mean as well. Like this person is not nice in the relationship. They're very mean. Um, you need to follow your heart because a lot of you are about to lose a lot financially if you continue to deal with this situation. A lot of you, the advice is look at it clearly with the eyeball and blow it uh, have some emotional maturity and discipline and some self-love about yourself that you don't deserve to be cheated on you don't deserve to be sad or whatever you got going on in this relationship okay um have an awakening libra aries scorpio capricorn follow your intuition or see a psychic moon and virgo um yeah have a new beginning for yourself okay if you want to stay in the relationship for some of you they could be um, an apology but it's not gonna stop it's not gonna stop this from happening it's still going someone's still cheating it, it's like they get caught or they just come clean like they don't care i feel like someone's just gonna be like yeah i cheated on you and what you're still gonna stay okay you're still gonna they they found it online for some of you the person could be in another state or country okay they're only in this for the money they could be a taurus libra virgo capricorn moon in aquarius or a capricorn sagittarius towards virgo okay yeah a lot of you are bored you could i see the four of cups moon in cancer so many of you are bored you're in it i see you walking away from it though because i see the eight of cups right after that pisces and saturn you're getting help from a light-haired female to walk away that's the advice um 
towards your joy, towards the sun with the four of cups, moon and cancer. Um, you're bored in this relationship. There's like no sex or you want other love offers and you feel like you can't take them because you're dealing with this relationship. So the advice is to walk away, unfortunately. Travel. Some of you guys will go on like some type of spiritual retreat with your significant other or ayahuasca journey with your significant other. Others of you are straight up leaving them behind because they really are cheating on you. They could be in the military or work with realty or money banking. This person could even be an accountant or they could work with finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. They could work uh, in a fraternity for some of you. This can even be like group involvement. For a lot of you, it's the military. It's crazy. Yeah, they could be done with a, a soldier. They stole from you, especially if it's an Aquarius. Somebody stole from you. They stole from you. There's a lot of jealousy and body image problems in the relationship. Uh, this is not your path. This is not the right path to be going down. Okay? This has been your reading, Leo. All of the information looking for is in the description box down below. Um, the voodoo box and services are provided in the description box down below next to the butterfly as well. Hi, Leo. Hi, Leo. Check your sun sign and your rising sun. Okay, you know your ascendant. And where do you have Leo in your astrological chart? All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you for supporting Psychic Sid. All the voodoo products and services I provide are in the description box down below next to the butterfly. The person who will be coming towards you is the Ace of Swords. Everything I've just said is the whole truth. <laughs> um, but the person who's coming towards you, wow, it could be a Gemini. Could be a Leo, could be a Gemini, an Aries, a Virgo, a Scorpio, whoever it is, a single, 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 okay? And um, with the Ace of Swords, this is someone who tells you the whole truth. It's a very long conversation, very long. I see a clover here. It's a lucky conversation as well. Um, could be a bit, it's like a very long FaceTime a very long phone call but they're telling you the whole truth the lovers gemini person is coming towards you is somebody who um you may meet this person at work or know this person from work they could be a colleague a schoolmate a friend um that may be how um you even you know know them like you know them as a friend you know them as a schoolmate you know them as um, a colleague of some kind or at work, right? A co-worker. Uh, you may own a business together with the lovers. This can also be somebody who it's like watched over from above. Masculine figures that are deceased are watching over this relationship. If you know a man or masculine energies that have, you know, transitioned to the other side, they are watching over this relationship commitment. A connection that is building okay or whoever's coming towards you um this is also somebody who when you guys get married and the other person passes away they will not remarry or you will not remarry okay with the sun it's love at first sight and with the magician leo gemini is very scorpio you also end up having this person's son um with the magician this will be someone who just gets you they just know you um they are a sale they're in sales um, the person who's coming towards you is also famous, well known. They work in a very masculine job, or they work with tools, um, as well as they have talents from other careers that they now use in the career that they're in. And they're very powerful with the magician. They know what makes you happy. They know what makes you sad. That is something that they will know. Okay, and you could just meet this person, and this is just something that you know. You guys just click. You guys keep meeting each other in every lifetime for some of you. Um, and this can also be like this realization. It could be someone new that you're meeting in this lifetime, right? All right. They could also be in the military because I just saw the Knight of Swords. They could be somebody who um, maybe even works with money, legality. They could be a lawyer. They could be. Um, they could work with fraternities, or they could be a teacher, counselor. Anything with the mind or communication. How will you be seen by others in your love life, Leo? How will you be seen by others in your love life, Leo? You will be seen. Justice. Okay. And will of fortune. As somebody who's moved on, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Sagittarius, 
You've moved on with the Eight of Cups in reverse, Pisces and Saturn, and Justice Libra. Um, a, a divorce went in your favor. Um, that karma has awarded you um, from you healing abandonment issues and healing from being lied to, stolen from, cheated on, abused. That things are finally going in your favor, that you're taking this risk. People are looking at you, oh, you're, they're like, Leo is taking a risk in love. They're just like, I'm going to turn the wheel of fortune. I'm going to allow somebody brand new into my life. And that's how people are seeing you. Hold on. I just got a notification. Bet. Okay. <laughs> um, they also view you as somebody who has learned from what you have gone through. You have more wisdom from it. If you look, it's eight and it's up and, you know, upside down, then it's eight right above her upside up. So you've actually learned from what you've gone through. You have wisdom from painful experiences and that everything's going in your favor. You're also seen to be someone who is getting a promotion. Okay, you're being recognized by a lot of people in your love life. They view you as very lucky. Okay, they view you as someone who will be like anybody will be blessed to be with Leo. Okay, how will you be feeling about your love life? How will you be feeling about your love life? How are you the sun? Okay, the sun and the two of wands. Why death and king of cups? You're going to receive a message from an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini, a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, and Mercury. You're going to be feeling like this because you have Two of Wands in reverse, Aries, Scorpio. Some of you are... Um, and then the Sun, Leo. You got enlightened. Okay, the way you feel... The way you'll be feeling about your love life is you got enlightened about what would really make you happy and that you do not wish to settle ever, okay? And the way you'll also be feeling about your love life is that there's love at first sight, that you have a lot of self-love, a lot of confidence in your love life, confidence about yourself. You're feeling really good about yourself and your solar plexus, you feel very healed, especially if this is regarding like your inner child, Different things like that. Uh, you even love your job, okay? But you'll be feeling like in your love life, you're really, really happy, really joyous, really excited, okay? You can even be vacationing. With the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, and Mercury, um, you'll be feeling like this because you're going to be receiving a lot of messages, a lot of attention on social media, a lot of attention with people wanting to talk to you, a lot of FaceTimes, Zooms, phone calls, text messages. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Super Gemini, people who just want to talk to you and be around you and they're in love with you. Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's why. Um, the King of Cups is in love with their best friend. So whoever you consider your best friend, and you're a masculine energy, right? If you're a masculine energy, you're watching this reading. Whoever you consider your best friend, you're in love with them. This is also saying if you're not in love with anybody, your soulmate's already in your life. Okay, so that's why you'll be feeling really positive about your love life. You're at the height of your career. You may work with the esoteric, the occult, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, legality, um, prisons, institutions, and asylums, the mental institutions for some of you, medicine, psyche, the mind. You may even work with um, legality or you could be in the legal system. You could even work with the heart or work with relationships. Okay? But with death. You're going to feel like that because you'll no longer be single. Aries, Scorpio with the death. Your single days are ending because somebody is telling you that they're in love with you. That's why you're going to be feeling so happy. Okay. Mm -mm. Also, you'll be feeling like this because somebody believes that a friendship could actually lead into a relationship. You've also been seeing 1010 a lot. Okay, that was a surge. Let's look at the blockages. Eight of Swords, okay, and it's in reverse. Gemini and Jupiter, it's just um, yeah, and strength. Venus and Leo. So this is about seeing clearly the unconditional love that you have for yourself. Also, there's been um, uh, so I see the Fool here, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, uh, learning from where. <laughs> and look at that, our beautiful Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. Doesn't she look like Sailor Moon? Um, well, I like to say Sailor Goon, but Queen of Pentacles, the blockage is, um, 
you, you're just taking very good care of yourself having clarity i feel like you work really hard at work okay like you're really financially stable many of you guys may work in the public eye you're very well known you may work for plants philosophy psychology spirituality money uh health you could even be for some of you guys you could even be a witch um the blockages temperance sagittarius being willing to learn something new being willing to temperance is also like meeting someone that knows how to have a relationship and believes in relationships just like you do and with the full being optimistic about love but not um getting involved in anything that's short term uh that just because the person may be seeking validation from you right based off of the fact based off of the fact that they have commitment issues and you are seeing now clearly how you've ended up in connections relationships where you took you got took it for granted or you were the more emotionally mature person in the connections and because you're now seeing very clearly someone's also getting out of jail okay a blockage in in your love life would be like someone getting out of jail or um getting out of that victim mentality and seeing your unconditional love of self that you are actually setting the example of what other people are looking at you're famous a blockage could be you're very well known and famous i myself have the venus in leo and i'm single um and it makes dating interesting <laughs> um when you are like somebody that people know and stuff like that it's it's a little interesting so for some of you that's um something that you also deal with right like you're on display all the time um what you do for work could like in the entertainment industry and stuff could also um impact your love life i all right like you know me doing readings and different things like that and then people who may be interested in you romantically they watch the readings and different things like that so um also it can mean that a lot of people you know attract to me and so that can be intimidating to people who want to approach me right when they see so many people are, are trying to talk to them it can it can make it intimidating for somebody who wants to talk to me or who could be interested in me romantically so that could be a blockage in your life love life that could be something that you relate to fame is something that could be a little bit of something that um makes dating interesting for you but i think it's something that you're taking in stride and you're embracing as a blessing as a blessing what can you do to improve your love life leo the knight of pentacles leo virgo taurus capricorn aquarius uh what you could do is take very good care of yourself release the devil that could be an addiction or a capricorn some of you they just got this huge surge um some of you with the will of fortune take the risk uh to improve your love life take the risk plan it out and take the risk to turn the will of fortune and allow in a new soulmate okay many of you are also letting go of a knight of cups in reverse an aquarius cancer pisces scorpio or a libra or a capricorn somebody who um is uh, a player enter they it's the knight of cups it could be someone who's even interested in the same sex so i wouldn't take it too personal the person you know they got their own things with the knight of cups in reverse they're just interested in other men not much you could do about that type of situation um it's also somebody who's just a player pathological liar and a serial cheater um what you can do to improve your love life is be willing to know that there's gonna be a very stable energy that comes towards you with the knight of pentacles someone who will cross the finish line and does want a relationship and a connection with you okay someone who's stable um take care of yourself and your finances and plan out make a plan the knight of pentacles he looks at every single aspect of a situation and he moves for it and he succeeds because he he looked at every single portion of a situation and made a plan okay um don't move so slow for some of you don't move so slow like um take your time but realize you got to be willing to take the the risk if you want you know joy and happiness okay so and think it out all right some of you are about to receive a good message from aquarius a taurus leo scorpio or sagittarius okay sorry for all of the notifications and messages and stuff that i'd be getting um the nine of pentacles is also something you can take home to your mother okay uh this person would work in the spotlight person could even work with um health uh entertainment industry children 
could dance, act, rap, sing, could work with money, could work with health or the psyche. Um, for some of you, could even be in the military. Okay? What's hidden from you in your love life? Almost called you cancer. Oh, my God. The moon. Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. What's hidden from you in your love life is that many people are watching you and that, the, that with the hermit, you are now Virgo. Um, you could be a teacher or a counselor that's helping you connect. Um, there could be a teacher or a counselor that helps you connect better to yourself. Or this could literally be you. What's hidden from you in your love life is that the type of connection and relationship that will come into your life in the future will actually be something that starts off as friends and intellectual conversation and builds into a relationship. Also, um, with the moon, you don't see this coming. Um, you are now wanting only like deeply spiritual connections and relationships that have meaning with the hermit. You don't want something surface level. level. You don't want dry communication and conversations. You don't want difficulty, chaos, and drama. You, you literally just want... Um, real love with the star here some of you guys are seeing an astrologer you could be an astrologer what's hidden from you in your love life is that the fear right of like what's coming what's coming when is it coming da, da, da. it comes right because you develop this new belief system about love that doesn't derive from fear, but derives from love, derives from self-love, derives from what you've already experienced. And you molded it and transmuted that energy into something very positive. Okay? Um, let's look. The future. A lot of you, you don't see that the Two of Cups is coming your way. Venus and Cancer could be Leo. You'll be on the same page. You guys will be friends and lovers. Okay? Very, like, um, just like a match made in heaven. <laughs> All right, the future of your love life, Leo. The page of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone has a crush on you. The future of your love life is someone could um, you get, you're gonna meet someone new, someone new who is um, emotionally interested in you. Okay. All right, they respect your boundaries and star. They see you. They'll want you to know that they see you. You could be an astrologer for some of you. You could be famous. Um. The future of your love life, though, with the star is that you realize you're very optimistic about love. Even if you kissed a, you know, you kissed a couple of frogs, didn't work out. You're okay with that, though. You healed from it. You made it out of the dark night of the soul. Um, and someone just sees you. Look at how they're staring at you, and they have this cup they want to give to you. Okay, you're focusing on yourself. You've been healing yourself. You've been doing your mission. Um, the future of your love life is the devil in reverse. You can be getting rid of a Capricorn, or you've gotten rid of the toxic energy. You've healed. Um, all right, the future of your love life, yeah, five of cups, Aries, Scorpio, it's in reverse, you're going to have brand new love offers because you're the queen of pentacles, people will, ooh, look at that, people will see your worth and your value, this is your justice, okay, many of you, um, Libra energy, you could even be finalizing a divorce and receiving a large windfall of money from an inheritance, a will, a trust fund, or from the money of that divorce, or something legal goes in your favor. Um, the future of your love life is you will be treated the right way. Um, if you've gone through, you know, just really dark times, you know, tumultuous times, you're on the right path. The future of your love life is you'll be on the right path. You will be treated the right way because you'll be treating yourself that way, and you're only giving what you receive. And with the four of wands, Venus and Aries could be Scorpio. I see you relocating, buying a home, or planning a wedding, getting into a relationship for many of you. Meeting someone at a party, a wedding, a get-together, a gathering of some kind. Um, it will. This will be a relationship that is celebrated by your family and friends and by the universe, even social media. With the Queen of Pentacles, you see your value, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. And because of that, someone else will. They will treat you with the value that you are carrying. Your Queen Midas. Everything you touch, Leo, turns to gold. You have this pentacle above your head like, and what, okay? With the Queen of Pentacles, you all that and a bag of chips. And you wish somebody would, okay? You wish somebody would tell you differently. Because it really wouldn't matter what they said. Anyways, you, probably, you wouldn't listen. Leos really don't be caring. I got a lot of Leo on my chart, and I really don't be caring what other people think. Um, let's look at the next actions in your love life, Leo. The next actions... And your love life is the Knight of Cups, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So taking someone out on a date, 
Okay, yeah, magician. Uh, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, somebody is going to be communicating to you. The Knight of Cups, they could be a musician or they work in the, the military. Um, I see they may even have long hair. They don't have to. Um, they could work with realty, prisons, institutions, and asylums, esoteric, occult, or money. Finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, sales, communications, the mind, the psyche. They could be a teacher, counselor. Whoever it is, it's the Two of Cups. Venus and Cancer could be Leo. Could be a Virgo as well with the Hermit. But it's... um. Someone where there's a really deep connection with intellectual, spiritual connection. Um, and you guys are on the same page as someone who really wants this to become a relationship, honestly. They will be communicating with you very directly. Um, or you, this is you, Leo. The divine masculine energy here. Taking initiative. Uh, manifesting it through communication. Some of you proposing or like, you know, proposing, oh, you know, I want to take you on a date or, oh, you know, I'm really romantically interested in you. Okay. And it's, it's beautiful. All right. Let's look at the advice. Many of you will be um, going out on dates, right? Just accept the new love offers. All right. If you're a woman, you have so many people interested in you. So you're just, you know, enjoying the single life. Just enjoying you, loving you. And you're not dealing with anybody who does not see your value. Because you see your value. You don't need them. I say every morning, my job when I wake up in the morning, and even when I go to night, go to sleep at night, even when I'm dreaming in a different worldly plane of existence, is to love myself. Your like is extra. I don't need it. Okay? If you do, that's great. But I really don't need it. Uh, that's very Leo-esque energy. Birds of a feather. 25. Breaking down to 7. So... The advice is continue with your emotional maturity and discipline. Not only will it lead you to financial abundance, going from like a rags to riches story, but also um, you're choosing yourself. It will lead you to a beautiful partnership within you. Okay, two of swords in reverse. Moon and Libra. Um, for many of you, you will be choosing one person. And Knight of Wands. Um, you will find love when you're too busy having fun. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Um, there's going to be a heart chakra awakening as well here because it's going to be very clear who's best for you. Gemini, choose one lover. Eight of Pentacles, put work into yourself. Save. Um, don't give too much. Um, hold back from energies that just are flighty. And for many of you, you'll be choosing one lover. Yeah, Ten of Wands, Sagittarius and Saturn. And you drop the baggage. Uh, many of you with the hangman, you're abstinent. Anything else for the advice for Leo? Ooh. Tower, Aries, Scorpio. Um, yeah, anything stable is, is just you're letting it fall down. You're only dealing with reciprocity. And Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Make a love offer. Some of you will be apologizing to somebody. Okay. Or somebody's going to be apologizing to you. They didn't treat you the right way. You're justice, Libra. Um, you're going to be treated the right way. And I feel like this is going to be a new person for some of you, like brand new, and your single days will be over. Enjoy this transformation within yourself and in your love life, Leo. Um, for a lot of you, this will be a Virgo, a Scorpio, an Aries, a Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Two of Cups, Energy, Venus, Cancer. Venus and Cancer could be Leo. Okay? Keep moving forward. Your advice is to communicate if you're the masculine energy here, it's divine masculine. Take the initiative to communicate. Only allow in. Hermit, Virgo. Uh, you could be a teacher or a counselor. Only allow in what is deeply spiritual and connected. If it's not that, you ain't dealing with it. With the death, you've completely transformed your life. And with the Two of Cups, you're heading right into a relationship that is mutually beneficial with somebody who does want a long-term commitment and relationship only because you decide to value yourself. This person's in love with you with the King of Cups. Leave your kids a Pisces Scorpio. I just broke the deck. Um, express your love and accept this love. Somebody's in love with you, Leo. This person's at the height of their career. They view you as their best friend. The, this is a masculine energy that views you as their best friend and they're in love with you. They also feel that this friendship can lead into a real relationship now. And they want to express that to you. They want to tell you, I want to treat you right. I want to be your, you know, your boyfriend, your husband. Like, I really want to be 
something long term um you don't date dating is really not just to date dating is for marriage so this is somebody who does want that they want to be the father of your children one day they want marriage one day you know they have plans with you that they really want they want to develop a solid foundation with you and your soulmate's already in your life with the king of cups okay um so if you're like you're a masculine and you're watching this you're like i don't i'm not in love with anyone your soulmate's in your life use your intuition they're already in your life use your intuition and you'll figure out who that is for you you don't need me to tell you who that is um if you are interested in a personal reading for further details on like okay who it might be and we'll go into details with the cards and divinations and different things like that by all means feel free to um you know check out my bookings services voodoo products that i provide in the description box down below next to the butterfly this has been your reading leo um I feel like you've also separated. You sort of just moved away, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, even Libra. You moved away from what other people thought, birds of a feather, right, flock together. I saw feathers all day today. And I feel like what you did is you walked away from what other people thought love looked like. And you're like, I want what love looks like for me. There, <laughs> there is somebody for everybody. Even if you got to wait for forever, whatever, da, 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 don't settle for less. And I don't see you doing that, Leo. You're like, I want the best. I am the best. I'm worth preserving my body and waiting for the right person, essentially, to, um, you know, enter into my life when the time is actually right. When God gives me, you know, what necessarily is meant for me. And realizing that you are God. Just like I'm God, everybody's God, right? So this is something you're giving to yourself. With that emotional maturity and discipline, you gave a healthy relationship to yourself by developing that within you. You have a very healthy relationship with yourself. You're very balanced. And anybody who's got something to say about it, you're not even listening to them. It's like you don't even listen. You just mute it. You just walk away. You don't even care. So keep doing you, Leo. All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting. So I can sit all the good products and services I provide in the description box down below. Next to the butterfly, Shane Leo.